Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer, as we carry on our playthrough of Thea, The Awakening, Return of the Giants DLC, or free DLC, whatever it's called, I can't remember anymore. So we ran out of chicken, let's get rid of that, because that has stopped our progression, which is rather annoying. You on there. Um, you on there, because we're missing all of our dwarves. I actually think the uh, crafter's skill, the first one skill level, does determine things to do with, uh, with obviously, the items that they make. So we should probably try and make some better stuff, like have better craftsmen do it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't want to make any armor. The problem is armor takes up so many items. Ooh. Ooh. I have a feeling that would be quite good. I have a feeling that... Oh, I don't have enough. So that would only give us an 8% chance of getting a good quality one. Damn you, game. Right. I'm going to wait. There's no point then. Let's wait. Now, I made quite a good armour... with this last time. Uh, that's... 11%, okay. That's not a bad armour. I wish we could get the shielding up. What would that do? That takes it to leech. Leech is also good. But magic is just... It, it's handy having a lot of people with magic. and You only get the magic skill if we went with that we'd get a, we'd actually get a better armor oh that's horrible that looks horrible oh yes it's a better armor but looks are important to me so no um do you know what sure We'll make one of them. We'll make... Uh, no, sorry, it wasn't that one. It was this one. Was it that one? Wow, that takes a lot. gives you leech that gives you leech and magic but no shielding um. hmm. no it's too heavy it's too heavy it's not good enough uh, how about then for a sword for a dragon, um, if we put nimble wood in there, ten leech. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's good. How much of the stones does that use up? Yeah, let's make that. That is so nice. Um, don't see the point in making any bows for the minute. Uh, was there anything else? I was thinking about making some more. Some more of these. So I'm going to make two more. Um, <laughs> I could use. I mean, admittedly, if I do that, it's like 14% chance to be 
amazing, but ooh. Let's do that. Right, but I don't want crappy crafters doing that stuff. So I will need to keep an eye. Oh, so much stuff. So much stuff that we need to build. Right. Two. Oh, we have to wait. Uh, sure, let's make sure these are all doing what they're meant to be doing first. And that they're not crafting stuff that they shouldn't be. Okay, no. That is all good. So, the divine quest first. Come here. Get on there. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me just... <laughs> let me just have a look at my group here. How intelligent are we? 9, 11, 9, 8... Okay, so we have got fairly intelligent people with us. Twelve. Okay, okay. We've got a nice diverse group. Okay, fine. You find the place imprinted in your minds by the professors. It is an old tower that seems to reach the very skies. Its surface is pure ivory, yet strangely shimmering as the sun rays hit its smooth surface. Go inside. As you move closer, you see a balcony that looks unsettlingly like a large skeletal hand. And in its palm, there stands a tall, hooded man, while a young girl cowers behind him. The man speaks in a clattering, hard voice. Halt! Who goes? Easy there. We're here searching for answers, and we were told... This is the place for us. We've come a long way, seeking a way to restore the power of the gods. Do you know of what we speak? Restoring power to your gods, a grand task indeed. The Oracle knows much, that much is true. And how exactly did you find your way here? Um, we were sent here by the professors of the Grand University. We follow the path set by our deity. The steps are unimportant. Yes, in truth we have sensed this much. Otherwise I would not make this tower seem to you. The Oracle, Iliana, as you can see, cannot speak to you. Nor can she defend herself from those who would abuse her talent. Not after what the university did to her. And so I have vowed to shield her. We have waited for one to come seeking this truth. Ilyana has foreseen it, but she could not see who it will be, nor when they will come. Great, so how do we reclaim the power of our gods? Please. Ilyana holds answers to many questions, yes. But are you worthy of receiving them? And more importantly, are you willing to face your fate in order to learn your future? What? Face our fate? What do you mean? I sense your connection to your gods and their blessing fresh upon your souls. Thus, I judge you worthy of the attempt. However, the Oracle can only guide you to find answers. You may need to face trials to receive what you seek, and these may prove difficult, if not lethal. But what would these tasks look like? A fight? You say you seek answers to restore the power taken from your gods. The tests will likely take the form of what you seek. Thus, you may face a shadow of the deity you serve, or perhaps even a true avatar. But whether it is combat they will seek, I do not know. I suppose much depends on your deity. All right, time to face the, the trial. The girl, who stood silent and motionless throughout your encounter, steps out from behind her protector and spreads her arms out. The tower opens up before you, revealing a dark chamber inside. The oracle silently gestures for you to enter. As you approach, you have a strange sensation, as if you're about to face yourself in there. Enter. You enter the tower and find yourself walking on the surface of an endless ocean. Beneath your feet, the water is clear and calm. You even see fish swimming in swarms, swerving from side to side. From the depths of the water, there arises a figure, first formed of water, then clearly a warrior clad in armor and seemingly ready for combat. It is none other than Mokosh. Okay. 17 speech, okay, 19 speech, right, we've got 
blessing of attractiveness 12 speech okay no 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 we we can do the social one i think we can do the social one it it's gonna be a difficult one but stay calm and speak mother of all life guardian of our there please hear us and guide us to restore your eternal power Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I think we've got the numbers. Okay. Go forth. Oh, crap. It didn't uh, do what I wanted it to do, did it? <laughs> Right. Okay, so we can win with first actions then. Go forth, elf. Okay, they're stronger than I thought. We have got a lot of first actions. So that should help us. I hope. <laughs> I hope and I pray. Ooh, that wasn't... Better. Okay, so first thing, ooh, stop that. First things first, we will first action you and see what happens. Aha, there you are. Okay, then we are going to. Support ally. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Do, do, do. Ne, 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 ne. We want to first action you. We then want to support ally. So you kill that one off. You do damage to that one. Yeah, wouldn't be enough, would it? So, uh, let's then first action you. Oh, no, I supported bollocks. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Um... How many can attack there? Two? Okay, right. We'll shield you twice. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. No, no, you'll take ten damage and it should be okay. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> good, you got, uh, you got health back. That should be fine then. Ah, you're going to get hit twice. No, no, you survived. It's alright. Oh, fuck, I didn't realise Mokosh had that much health. Oh, no. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've got numbers in front of us. We should be fine. That's annoying. Oh, 7 to 10 going on, like... Yeah. Okay, so we, we whooped them. <laughs> we whooped their ass. So it's fine. Oh yeah, there's there's no way they can win. Just in case, we'll put we'll put uh, Ellis in. Mm. We didn't need Ellis. Kindness or is not always wise. Words are not the best of weapons in times of terror. And yet you have remained calm and approached me with respect like a child should its elder. 
I am pleased with your growth, my young ones. Now go to the Cradle of Life. Plant these seeds I now give you, and when faced with the ghosts that haunt that place still, use my blessing to banish them and cleanse their souls. Okay, Mokosh. I, I thought you'd be a bit kinder than that. Fair enough. Onwards. Um, no, we'll come down and then... Because otherwise I might get tempted to go to the uh, Mithril first. Come down here. It's probably going to be a streaker. Following the instructions laid out by the shack, you find an old worker's hut, hidden away from prying eyes by a strange, unnatural mist. The air around this place is thick and cold, and yet the mist smells of ginger and honey. The more you look at the house, the more alluring it becomes. Enter the house. Within the house, you hear the faint laughter of children, followed by sporadic sobs and even screams. You enter into the main chamber and see a large furnace still burning hot despite there being no signs of smoke outside. There is a tall stack of old rugs lying by the furnace and nothing else. You hear a crying child as if it were sitting inside the flames. Approach carefully. Before you stands a tall, ragged woman with wild eyes and a crooked grin on her face. She wears a torn up dress, sadly revealing her dried up long breasts. She has long, sharp nails and her hair is wildly disheveled. Perhaps she was once a young, even a pretty woman but the form that stands before you now is worn down by forces beyond nature. She stretches out her hands before you. My children, have you come back to me? You feel strong magic from the woman. Take your time to consider your options. Although you have heard the tales of a Baba Yaga, an evil witch hell-bent on killing children, you have heard from the wise ones that this poor creature is most likely trapped in her own body, dead but unable to die. Try to remember more. She was once a mother who lost her children to a sudden, brutal death, forced to watch helplessly as her kin perished in torment. Her soul died along with her children, yet her body did not, thus leaving a creature tormented from within, driven to utter madness and despair. Some of these poor women indeed become the witches from the tales. In their madness, they seek out children and try to care for them, only to realize that death is their sole gift. This drives them ever deeper into the depths of insanity. Do the ritual. Perhaps we can free her. You know how to protect yourself from the witch's curse, but killing her is still not an easy feat. If you strike down the witch with mortal weaponry, she will be banished for a time, but not dead. The only way to truly defeat Baba Yaga is to fight the very curse that befell her, but only those with magic can do that. This is not an amazingly strong magical party. This really is not a. Sh I mean, we've got some magic. We've got a lot of defense. We've got at least one heavy hitter who can do enough. I've got a couple who. We're going to go for it. It's a risk, but. I feel it's the right option to get the best reward. And that's what we promised the Shashak. Luckily, you have among you those who can weave the winds of magic. And so, they prepare for the gruelling ritual of cleansing. Seven. Oh, this is going to be difficult. We Good, 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 good. This isn't going to be as bad as I thought. We do have a few people with with essentially poison and leech. That one's not going to be able to attack first turn. So let's get a couple of heavy hitters out. And see what's going to come next. Okay. That's a wee bit harder hit than I wanted to see. So what do I have to use here? We're not going to get many first actions in.
we can get at least two. And we can get some shields in. Okay. I'm thinking we put a dwarf in because he can take a hit. And then we'll put her in. And then we'll give her a bit more shielding. Basically anyone who can do... Anyone who can do damage but doesn't have enough shielding basically needs to be protected because we can't afford to go losing cards that can do damage so just need to be a little bit just a little bit more careful about what we do and where okay so now I believe it's time get if I first action you you're not going to be able to do enough damage that's a good point okay I'm not going to first action you then do you have you do have support actually I could support the hell out of you which would give you enough <laughs> Oh, no, it won't, because he's a six, damn it. Okay, never mind. Um, then we're going to put you down, and... Oh, you can't actually... Hmm. That's un... That's... Hmm. You can't actually get into combat. Okay, right, that'll do. Let's see how the cookie crumbles. Oh, you went the wrong way, you fucking idiot. You fucking moron. You... Yeah, that's going to screw us over a bit. That's going to mess us over a bit. Because we've just lost our heavy hitter. Stay with us, our dwarven friends. We need you. Okay, so we're going to go into the second round. Ah, okay. The opponent's turn first. You. And then... You. Okay. We'll go you. Right. So, do we have a support ally? We have one. But then I cannot first action you. I fucked up there. Shield ally. <laughs> Bastards. Bastards. Um, okay. So I need to get someone else up to the front. So I need a six. So I, you have to be saved for getting someone. Uh, yeah, for getting. So, elf. Support ally. Um, 
you can take one hit, so let's get you up to the front straight away. Can anyone else do any damage? That's the other thing. There's no point supporting you. Let's give you more health, more shielding. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it all goes. Well, we knew he was going to die anyway. That's just something that we knew that it was going to happen. But it has worked out okay. Because now it dies. And then we get two attacks on it. Yes, there we go. We won. That was close. You break the evil curse that tarnished the soul of Baba Yaga. See what happens now. For a second, a young woman appears before you, dressed in her wedding garb and pregnant. She smiles, then turns back into an older woman, but this time she seems more human. Thank you, my children. You have rescued my soul. Now I am yours to command. Will you accept my service? Um, hell yeah. You agree, despite certain reservations. As a sign of goodwill, the Baba Yaga also frees some children she had stashed. Excuse me? We just got Baba Yaga? Really? Holy shit. I thought it said it wasn't Baba Yaga. That it was just a tormented woman. Oh, we got a demon. Hello, demon. We do. Hyperbolism. 11 magic. Ooh. Are you actually... No, you're you're a person. I've never seen this before. So normally when you get a demon, they're like an animal. They can have an artifact and two trinkets. This is something else. This is... Ooh. I like. That's really good. Oh, 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 excellent. Now, it's going to take us a full turn to get up here. So, okay. I think we've got enough time to kill the undead creatures. We're just going to do a fight. There's loads of us. Oh, fuck me. Twelve skeletons? Shit. Oh, dear. Please let us go first. Thank you. Look at our dwarves. So, depending on how much health they have, these are um, six creatures that they can... Mother... You bastard game. How fucking dare you strike upon my glorious dwarves? Oh, this will not be good enough. Right. Oh, they're probably going to have a lot of cards that can mess me up. Also, I would be able to get all my dwarves up. God damn it, I should have placed him. Okay. Let's go for... Ah, uh, if only I had an extra two stealth. That is so annoying. Do I have any threes? I don't. Okay, so let's go for the ten. Ah, oh, but you could do 41 damage if I... Damn it! Fine, fine, fine. I need to kill off them. Let's get another dwarf to the front. Because then that's those two dead. Plus some damage on that one. That one will die. And then it's we're taking starting to take less damage. Let's get you up. We'll try and get you... 
a shield, perhaps? Yeah, we'll get you an extra shield. We'll get you up. We'll get you an extra shield, I think. We'll get you in. With... An extra shield. I am worried they've done nothing with these cards. That is kind of wor worrying. We'll get you in. Uh, you've got 17. I think I just need to shield the hell out of you because you're the last one on the list. So you're going to take a hell of a lot of hits. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Wow. Yeah, give you more. We might lose some people here. I genuinely cannot guarantee that I've worked this out properly. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Come on, work out the way I thought it would work out. No! I think he's still alive. He is. Fuck! Damn it. might be okay because these three should take out six. Oh, not quite. So why dwarves with hammers are just incredible. Oh, someone's going to take a lot of damage. Shit, it's you. Oh, you might die. We might lose you from wounds. Where's the elf? Get closer. Stabbity! Stabbity! Um, do we have anyone else who can do a stabbity? Not really. Hmm. Stormund, go forth. Along with Elias. Right, uh, get a door forwards. You're up. I was really, really worried about this. I'm not as worried now. Um, hang on, who had five health? You did. Damn it, you don't have leech. Nothing we can do then. At least if a character's got leech, you've got a chance to increase their health enough so that they didn't get wounded. It's not always guaranteed, but bloody good chance of it. Right. Support ally. Don't have any more first actions. Well, confusing. No more first actions. No. Okay, right. What well, that should do then. Once you have a few dwarves on your team and a f with decent hammers, ah, oh, it. They are just amazing. Amazing. That is worrying. We might lose her. And I believe she's a really good gatherer. Cross your fingers. She's not dead. She's not out of the danger zone, but uh, she is not dead. So that would be five. We have seven movement in total, so let's go the extra bit. Ah, oh, there's also a place of interest. Mm, yes, she's our best gatherer. Damn it. Ah, oh, well. We shall say some prayers for her and hope that she survives her ordeal. 
Uh, we've run out of seaweed, apparently. What, so you couldn't have made... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> right. One more turn. Despite the daytime, the sky is suddenly overshadowed by a thick, dark mist that slowly engulfs everything in its way. The black mist remains a malicious reminder of the days of darkness and their everlasting hold on fear. Even the bravest of souls feels a sudden dread as the black cloud slowly seeps into every corner of their surroundings and wraps them up in a suffocating blanket of dark energy. You could swear you see twisted faces and silent screams from within the darkness. You feel a cold chill running down your spine, and dry sweat covers your trembling body. Your very soul is now infected with the cloud. You should use magic to shield the group. You use magic to create a mystical shield that prevents the mist from touching you. It does not lessen some of the dread you feel from merely looking at the dark matter, oh madly twisting and turning to try and reach you, but its effects do not reach your soul. The shield will withstand the assault, but if you want, you could push it further and try and fight the mist. The battle will be deadly, and only those who wield magic can face the mist. It may be deadly, but we shall try. Baba Yaga, save us! Oh no, Baba Yaga, where are you? Yeah. Hmm, Baba Yaga. What? Oh. Baba Yaga. Ah, ah yes, yes, excellent. Okay, yeah, you, you can do some serious damage. Um, do we have any first action? We only have one first action. Okay. And it's only a seven. So I'm not we're not gonna use it. It's not gonna be worth it. So, someone to sacrifice. you next oh okay okay that's that's certainly something let's place you then we'll play you then we're gonna shield you give you some more longevity. We're then going to play you, because you can take a lot of hits. Oh, what happened? No idea. We're then going to play you. Now we get one first action, which we could do with you. Do we have any support cards? We do not. So I don't see the point. Uh, let's play... Eh, sure. Oh, no, no. No, no counter. Right, we'll shield you. And I want to get these two in. I just want to make sure that the... Yeah, make sure that the enemy can't do that and basically, you know, kill them in one hit. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you still are going to get killed in one hit, possibly. Can I raise you enough? Just enough. Right, let's see how this goes. Come on! Mm -mm. Not good. No cards have been taken out yet. And we're attacking really oddly. It's not going the way that I would have liked. However, there's one card gone. Oh, that was so close to two cards. Oh, and we're, do oh, we're going a weird way again. Okay. Come on, Chung, stay alive. Okay, he gets his health back and takes out a card. That was good. He's now in our 
our deck, which is good. Uh, we are going to play Baba Yaga first. Okay, first actions, we have 1-6, which will do. First action. Well, as long as they don't first action a card, that is. Um, then we're going to play Elias to defend Chung. Hopefully. Uh, we're then going to play the Elf. To play you. I'm going to then... Shield you, just in case. We're going to get closer with you and with you. Do you know what? Just in case, we'll put you in. I'm a little bit, uh, a bit worried that we might lose some, some heavy hitters. said it could be fatal. I don't know if this is going to kill our people. And it's concerning. Excellent. To the unknowing eye, the battle lasted but seconds. Yet for those who took <laughs> part in it, time itself stopped and swallowed them whole. The Black Mist unleashed brutal attacks to try to break free from the mystical powers of your people. Alas, they have proven unbeatable, and so they banished the Mist from whence it came. At least for now. The brave souls who fought the Mist feel themselves stronger, as they absorb some of the dark magic. Excellent. Exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Let's move now. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we didn't lose our uh, we didn't lose our person. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, do this, right? Oh, it's iron. Hmm. Well, that's no bloody good. So we're gonna get five a turn. Oh, my days. Oh, that's 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 terrible. <laughs> Five a bloody turn. Ooh. Right. Okay. So our crafters. We've got our three best crafters on that. Good. And they'll slowly work their way down. Excellent. Um, let's give it a turn. Ooh. Level ups. Uh, we've got some crafting, some strength, intelligence, gathering, more strength, some healing, Raticus, shield, got some health, excellent. What about our way group? Some crafting, um, some health, some gathering, two willpower, fair enough, herbalism, not bad, not bad, Baba Yaga got health, okay. I am not upset with that at all. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to end the episode off here. So in the next episode, we'll find out if we get attacked and if we can make it back before night truly falls. And what we can do with our Mithril. No, sorry. Is it Mithril? Yeah, it is Mithril. Um, and yeah, we will see what happens once we get Baba Yaga back to our base. So I hope you look forward to the next episode, because I look forward to recording it. So I will see you then. Take care, everyone, and as always, bye-bye for now.